All right, good morning, everybody. And welcome to the 9 a.m. January 11 Board of Directors annual meeting. Uh, first of all, my apologies for being a couple minutes late. It just does happen from time to time. Uh, first order of business is to call this meeting to order. And uh, and then to establish a quorum. And as I've always asked Andy, if you could uh, go through that process and let's make sure we know uh, who we have here as voting members. OK, uh, sounds good. And I know we I'm pretty sure we have a quorum in the room. We need seven. Um, why don't we go ahead? I would suggest with self introductions around the room and then we'll call out the board members that are online. All right, to get started. Sharon, maybe you'll start and then we'll kind of go to my left. Sharon Thompson, Mayor Fountain. Stan Vandwerf, El Paso County Commissioner. Dave Donaldson, uh, Colorado Springs City Council. City Council. Yolanda Avila, Colorado Springs City Council. Andy Gunning, PPACG staff. Mitch Lakine, Mayor of Monument. Glant Havener, Mayor of Palmer Lake. Todd Dixon, Mayor of Green Mountain Falls. Dick Elsner, Park County. John Graham, Mayor of Club Manitou Springs. Holly Williams, El Paso County Commissioner, but I did want to point out the two new mayors here. Mitch Lakind and Clint Hafner. <laughs> so thank you. And congratulations to them. Go ahead, continue, please. Shane Ferguson, C. Dot. All right. Okay. Uh, and then let's see. Let's who's online. I I see a whole bunch of folks online, but the words are pretty small to read them. Sure. So we, uh, maybe we Nancy some... Hengem from. Yeah. Oh, good morning, Sorry. Nancy. Nancy Hingem, uh, Colorado Springs City Council, and my peers are clearly from the City Council stronger than I am since we ended our meeting at one o'clock in the morning. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here. Thank you. All right. Any other voting members online? Cami Bremer, El Paso County Commissioner. Good morning, Cami. Good morning. Uh, and, and anybody else? Mr. Chair, from what I can see, that's those are the only two voting members online. OK, thank you for uh, letting me know that. And uh, let's see. So do we have any introductions that we would like to do at this point? Andy, I don't know if you've got any new folks or some people that haven't been to a PPACG meeting before. Um, mayor Lakine, not to put you on the spot, but uh, new mayor from the town of Monument, as uh, Commissioner Williams uh, mentioned. Um, <laughs> not sure if you want to say any words, but uh, I think uh, Mayor Lakind is our only new uh, member. Um, Glenn Havenar, Mayor Havenar has uh, changed seats with the town of Palmer Lake. Um, otherwise, I think we have a few new people maybe online watching and in the audience, but uh, we'll get around to other introductions as we get to other items on the agenda. Okay, very good. Well, I just, I'm sorry. Hello, Commissioner Stone. Okay, they have, there's a seat for you. So we've got one more here uh, present. Uh, in the in the uh, uh, room. And uh, before we go to the action items, I do want to just say it's uh, it's been a I don't know what that was, but OK, stopped. It's been a great week in the tradition of uh, the United States in that uh, power continues to peacefully change hands. We have had several people uh, get sworn in, uh, some in reelections and some in a new capacity. And it's just always, um, for me, a beautiful thing to see that. Uh, with that in mind, uh, uh, maybe we could ask uh, Mayor Lakind if I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you now if you'd like to say a few words as the new mayor of Monument. Well, I got to. Uh, thanks for the introductions from everybody in the room. I'm happy to be here. Uh, attended a few of the meetings um, uh, as uh, former Mayor Wilson's alternate for a while, uh, and then. Uh, he he decided to find other places for me to to uh, uh, go to, uh, which was which was fine. Uh, but uh, I'm looking forward to all the great things that get done here and uh, meeting all of uh, my counterparts and look forward to it. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Mayor. Appreciate it. And any other comments? Yes, please go ahead. Oh, I, I thought I saw your. Uh, all right. I know that uh, for those of you that may uh, know. Uh, we have two newly reelected uh, county commissioners, um, Holly Williams and Cami Bremer. But in addition to that, we have uh, many uh, uh, reelected or elected to new position uh, county uh, county uh, elected officials. But also we have a new sheriff uh, and uh, Joe Roybal. And yesterday they had a huge event 
uh, and uh, swore, re-swore in uh, all of the warranted officers, and that included swearing in officers from other uh, law enforcement agencies. So there's a, a cross flow of authorities. And again, uh, so really this week in El Paso County, it's literally hundreds of people that have been sworn in for different and various reasons. And again, as I've mentioned before, I do think it's a wonderful thing to see. All right, uh, let's move on to item two then, 2A. And uh, we do have, uh, so those of you that have seen it in the packet, and just as a reminder, but I think maybe everybody knows, this is the annual meeting. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, uh, carry out this meeting and then conclude this meeting. And then we'll go to the regular meeting. And assuming the selection uh, goes well, uh, we will, uh, uh, you will have someone else here as the chair uh, carrying out that meeting. Now, this, uh, there was a nominating committee that we uh, created, and uh, the four folks that were on that nominating committee are listed. And if we could go down to uh, the folks that they selected, thank you very much. So this is the recommended slate of the 2023 board officers. And uh, it is important to always just uh, uh, provide the opportunity if anybody else uh, is still interested in serving in a capacity in one of these or not, uh, if there's anybody else that is interested still in doing that and would like to offer a nomination in this meeting at this time. All right, hearing none, uh, our only uh, recommended uh, 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 officers for PPACG is the slate that's listed on the screen. And I don't know if we actually do that by acclamation at this point, or should we just go ahead and proceed with a vote and formalize it? I would suggest proceeding with a vote just to, yeah, to make it. OK, vote. very good. All right. So um, these are the recommended slate of officers. What I'd like to do is entertain a motion for that slate of officers and a second. I'll move to approve the proposed slate of officers for 2023. Todd Dixon, Mayor Greenmount Falls. I'll second John Graham. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate that very much. Are there any last comments or questions on this item? All right. Hearing none, all those. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. There is an. Oh, yes. Yolanda, go ahead. I, I just want to say that um, I think this is a great slate of um, board members, and I'm really excited uh, to see the uh, a new a new wave. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. Sorry, guys. But I'm just excited that we're going to have a new slate. All right. Thank you very much. And Yolanda, I'll just express my appreciation that you were willing to serve on the nominating committee as well. So thank you. All right. Uh, any other comments or questions? All right. Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Are aye. there any? Oh, thank you. Are there any opposed? All right. Well, congratulations to the new... PPACG 2023 board officers. And we have a few more items in the annual meeting. Uh, we have item B, appointment of board members to committees, commissions, and boards. And let's go to those charts. And let's see. Um, I believe the first one is the statewide transportation advisory committee. And I think we scroll if we scroll down a little bit further, we've got a list of the members that um, were on there in 2022, starting with our primary representative, uh, Commissioner Williams, and then a very long list of alternates, which we're allowed to have. All right. Um, so, uh, Commissioner Williams, you are the primary right now. I I, uh, I actually have not had a chance to talk to you to see if you're still interested in being the primary. <laughs> Uh, yes, actually, I am. I do apologize because um, I didn't arrange for anyone to nominate me, but had the honor to serve for the past two years after Norm Steen served to serve on the Statewide Transportation Advisory Committee. Um, very much enjoyed doing that. And I uh, get to serve with Dick Elsner up there from his TPR. And um, and we have a, a lot of um, interesting things going on at that level. So I would be interested in serving again. All right, very good. Are there is are, is there any other interest uh, from anybody serving as the primary for the state trans statewide transportation advisory committee? Mr. Chair, I, I'd be happy to nominate Ollie Williams. All right, very good. Doing nominations. We have a motion to Second. nominate Eric Commissioner Williams. County. 
And Eric Stone, I think if I heard just correctly, you seconded. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Uh, it doesn't sound like there's anybody else that's interested. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and uh, proceed with that vote. All those in favor of Commissioner Williams being our primary for the stack, uh, please signify by saying aye. 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 And are there any opposed? All right, very good. And now we have a first alternate to 10th alternate. And uh, Andy, I, I'm just not, I just don't remember if we voted on those or not, or if it's just people that can sign them. If you could refresh my memory. Uh, so I think uh, the board did vote on those because we have to turn that into CDOT as okay. our official uh, rotation of alternates. Um, and I think we just, you basically have looked for volunteers in the past that want to serve and um, somewhere in that, that lineup. And that way it, uh, we make sure that they get the stack information um, each month. So uh, we just have to kind of work through who's interested in being in the rotation. All right. Very good. Yes. Um, Mayor, go ahead. In that past, we've just kind of gone through the list and made sure everybody wanted to stay on there in that position and, and stay in that alternate ranking. They wanted to move up or down and then anybody wanted to just be added on. So, OK, because right, I think the furthest we've ever gone down is second alternate, I believe. As far as someone actually attending. Somebody the that actually attended. Yeah. OK, very good. Yes, Commissioner Stone. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, and just for uh, new members coming on to the board, uh, all the additional alternates on here, primarily what what it is, is you're getting the same packets as the, you know, the, the first or second alternate that would be most likely to attend stack. So if you have a specific interest in uh, in stack, just recommend adding yourself as an alternate because then you will receive the full packet, which is why you see me all the way down at ninth alternate. So I still receive those, but I do have a a, a conflict with county schedule that doesn't allow me to attend stack. OK, very good. And um, uh, Commissioner Williams, maybe you could just uh, uh, I'll just ask you a question whether you're on here as an alternate or primary or just a member of PPACG you could still go up and attend the meeting. Is that correct? Actually, it's easier than that. The We have a live meeting, I think, in May and October, and the rest of them are all on Zoom now. Makes it easier for the mountain regions. Excellent. So uh, with that in mind, I would recommend uh, any new PPACG members, anybody that hasn't been to a stack meeting before, at least just go to one sometime this year and become familiar with it and what they do. It'll help you. Uh, you think about maybe the kind of interaction that you would have with Commissioner Williams in making sure that our interests in uh, the PPACG region are, in fact, continue to be uh, mentioned and supported uh, up in this meeting. OK, very good. So a lot uh, to, uh, uh, to Mayor Thompson's recommendation. Let's uh, I'm going to go down the list. And uh, Dave Donaldson, you're listed as first alternate. Are you still willing to serve in that capacity or would you like to be moved up or down? I guess you did actually be our representative maybe once or twice through the course of the year. Th that's correct. But I think if I moved up, it would cause a conflict. So Yeah. OK, so, so either stay where I'm, you are or move down. Yeah, I stand I'm corrected. To, I'm happy to stay there, although if someone else is really, um, you know, this is really their, their ambition, I'll step down one. OK, very good. Thank you. And it does not have to be a, a voting member of the board. It's why we have John Leo Satos on there, a second alternate. And John, are you still willing to serve in that capacity? <laughs> well, I thank you very much. I think I'm asking you. OK, you're good. All right. All right thank you. Uh, third alternate is Nancy Hengem. Nancy, uh, are you comfortable with remaining as third alternate? I am. Thank you very much. OK, very good. And fourth alternate is Yolanda Avila. And Yolanda, comfortable there? Yeah. Very good. Uh, fifth alternate, Kelly Case. I don't see her online. Mr. Chair, if I may. Did, yes, please. Uh, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Case uh, had a uh, professional conflict with today's meeting. Had to be up in Denver, so I wasn't able to be here. But I do believe that she would like to continue on. OK, very good. Thank you. I appreciate uh, you're mentioning that on her behalf. And Andy, sixth. OK, and uh, I don't is Wayne Williams uh, present? I don't think he is. No, but he does enjoy being an alternate. So that's OK. OK, so Wayne Williams is seventh and then myself as eighth. And uh, I do that primary. I mean, I know we'll never get down to eighth, but it's I think it's good to receive uh, the message notices and the and the uh, meeting content. Uh, ninth, Eric Stone. 
Okay. And 10th, Sharon Thompson. All right. I don't think we have any limit. We can go past 10th. Anybody else interested in being an alternate? All right. Seeing none, I think what we have here is uh, uh, a continuation of the existing slate. I'll entertain a motion for that. So moved. Thank you. Eric Stone, Teller County. Thank you. Second. Bob Dixon, Mayor Green, Mount Falls. That's been moved and seconded. Appreciate that very much. And let's go ahead and proceed with the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 And are there any opposed? All right. Very good. Congratulations to you all. And let's see, which one is next? Transit representative. Okay. And this is the one that alternates back and forth between the city of Colorado Springs and the city of Fountain as our two primary transit providers in the region. And um, this past year in 2022 is with the city of Fountain. So just by tradition, it would uh, shift back to the city of Colorado Springs. All right, very good. And are there any uh, representatives from the city of Colorado Springs that would like to serve as the primary? I do see a hand raised. Uh, uh, Yolanda Avila, and you've been serving as the first alternate in 2022. And so you just intend on flipping it? Okay, and Sharon, are you interested then in serving as first alternate or would somebody else like to do that? Okay. All right, so let me just ask, is there anybody else that has an interest in serving as the transit representative, either as the primary or the first alternate? Mr. Chairman, I would move to uh, uh, approve Yolanda Avila as the primary and Sharon Thompson as the first alternate for the uh, transit board. Second, Dave Donaldson. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. That's been moved and seconded. Let's go ahead and proceed with a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 And are there any opposed? All right, so congratulations to Yolanda Avila and Sharon Thompson. Uh, Yolanda being the primary and Sharon being the first alternate. Let's move now to the Front Range Passenger Rail District. And in 2022, John Graham served as our representative here. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. And uh, do we need to alternate this around at all? I don't think so, right? Uh, no, not required. Actually, I think uh, Mayor Graham just started serving probably the middle of 2022 when the uh, district uh, was first formed. Yeah, that's correct. There was a transition and we actually didn't get uh, really organized till uh, August or September. So it's we're still kind of going through the formation process. I would mention that uh, Sharon Thompson had offered to serve as an alternate, although I believe one isn't required. She has certainly stepped forward and expressed a willingness to do that. OK, I guess uh, before we get there, I'll just ask uh, John, are you interested in continuing to serve as the I'd, primary? I'd be willing to continue. Yes. OK, thank you very much. And uh, it doesn't seem to be a problem to me to have an alternate here, just in case uh, Mr. Graham cannot make it. Um, does anybody have an objection to us assigning an alternate? Just to know, technically, they don't have an alternate. So we kind of put it out there hoping that they will someday appoint one in the bylaws. So, um, yeah. I think we can still record it in, in our records uh, to have an alternate. So whether they have one officially or not, we can still have it listed here. And you're willing to serve in that capacity? Okay, very good. Is there anybody else that's interested either as a primary or alternate for the Front Range Passenger Rail District? Mitch Lakai, Mayor of Monument. I'm interested in being an alternate. An alternate? Okay, very good. Um, so we can have a couple of alternate. We could have a couple of alternates, or do you want to have a conversation about that? Or I would say let's just do like we do to um, stack. Yeah. Finally, just put him out there and um, see where they go with it. And if it ever becomes formal, you know, then then we worry about it. But love to just be getting the information um, for, you know, kind of like we do with stack so we can keep informed of what's going on. So, yeah. OK, so just a moment. OK, we're, we're good. And, yeah. OK, I, I, I miss her. Who said who said it? OK. All right. Very good. Uh, is there anybody else interested? All right. Hearing none, what I would like to propose and then see if someone will entertain a motion is for John Graham to serve as primary, for Sharon Thompson and for Mitch Lakine to both serve as alternates for the Front Range Passenger Rail District. Also move. Second. Mayor of Greenmount Falls. Oh, 
Second Holly Williams, County oh, Commissioner. Okay, very good. Let's proceed with the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, great. Look at that. We've got people interested and we're getting to alternates. I love it. Now, Drive Smart, Colorado. And uh, in the past, in 2022, our primary, we've had three primaries. Is that the way this is accurately that, described? That's correct. Per the updated Drive Smart bylaws, we could have three PPACG board members serving. And uh, this past year was Mayor Thompson, Commissioner Elsner, and Council Member Hensham. Um, bear with me. And, Council member is online. I don't believe she was interested in maybe serving in 2023 on the Drive Smart board. Is that correct? Council member Hensham? That, that is correct. And I'm still trying to get in on another device. If someone could please let me in. But no, I'm not. Thank you. Okay, very good. Um, I'll just ask uh, Sharon Thompson, are you interested in continuing to serve? All right, and Dick Elsner? Okay, very good. And uh, um, Councilwoman Hengem is uh, not interested in serving on this, so uh, I don't know that we need to have three, but uh, I'll just simply ask the question, is there anybody interested in serving as a primary for DriveSmart? Can we can we just real quick and give mm -hmm. Andy a second to kind of describe what... Yes, please go ahead and, uh, yeah, and please can do I, that. Can I clarify, please, that it's not that I'm not interested, it's that I don't have any more bandwidth. Thank you. Uh, thank you, I appreciate the clarification. Um, sure. And actually, I'm going to ask uh, either John L or John H to maybe come up and give a just a, a brief uh, synopsis of Drive Smart and the composition of the board and uh, their role. And as John is making his way up here, John Henry, um, I will mention, I know in the workshop we had that you all had this past Friday, uh, uh, Mayor Pro Tem uh, Roland Gardine from Callahan did express interest in being one of our primary reps as well. And Councilmember Donaldson may have two. I don't know. I was just agreeing. Yeah. Okay. Super. Good morning and thank you, Andy. My name is John Henry and I'm the president of Drive Smart Colorado. Drive Smart Colorado is a 501c3 nonprofit organization designed to provide traffic safety information and education as part of what is known within the, the uh, injury prevention and traffic safety circles as the E or education of the four E's. That's education, enforcement, engineering, and EMS. We provide a role in terms of providing information and education, uh, and we are targeting the three-county area of the Pikes Peak Area Council of Governments. And of course, those messages differ somewhat from area to area, which has been something of a learning curve because over the 30-odd uh, years that uh, I've been president of DriveSmart Colorado, we have been primarily focused on metropolitan kinds of issues, primarily El Paso, somewhat Teller County, uh, but we've expanded now to encompass Park County, and and that's been a learning curve thanks to Commissioner Elsner to getting us up to speed on some of that. As to the board, uh, it is comprised, generally speaking, of leaders of top law enforcement agencies, the El Paso County Sheriff's, Colorado Springs Police Department, Fountain Police Department, and the uh, captain of the State Patrol Troop here in the area. Uh, we're open to other uh, board members from law enforcement agencies that have an interest in participating always. And we will be expanding the board in the time to come here and bringing in representatives of fire services because, of course, when it comes down to that other E, EMS, we want to make sure that we have that particular perspective represented on the board. Uh, and with that, I can take any questions. Uh, Andy, is there anything else you need me to add to that? That was perfect. That's okay. why I wanted you to describe it instead of me. Thank you. Any just a, questions? Just uh, one other question for me, for those that might want to consider uh, serving as this uh, third primary, when do the meetings, board meetings meet? Thank you, Commissioner. Really great question. You should have covered that. It is a quarterly meeting. And is it always like on the same? Generally speaking, we've been doing it on Fridays. Okay. At uh, 9, 30, 10 o'clock, whatever works for the group. We're pretty flexible about that. We had to move it a couple of meetings ago because of a, an existing meeting and some of our members had to attend it. That's perfectly okay. We are flexible. Okay, very good. Is there anybody that's interested in serving? And do we, we have three seats on that board. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Which Friday is it? So the Fridays have varied. Second Friday traditionally is what we try to stick with. Um Although we may have had to flex around that a little bit on occasion, but the second Friday was the goal. And Andy, when um, 
we originally absorbed Drive Smart about a year ago. You and I were talking about the incorporation of teen driving mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, you know, as a mom of a 16 year old, obviously we're knee deep in the teen driving mode. And we talked about that and then it kind of fizzled out, never went anywhere. Where are we with incorporating maybe a social media campaign? That would be the difference if we were going to incorporate some type of social media campaign mm -hmm. and get some of our teens involved in making driving safe cool, then I might join that board to take on that component of incorporating uh teenage driving. Sure. Uh, good segue again, uh, John, we are actually working quite a bit in that space. Yes, thank you. Uh, in the past, uh, DriveSmart has conducted the High School Traffic Safety Challenge. It was a 30-odd year program. Uh, we began it in 1990 with five high schools. And at the time at which we lost uh, our executive director who retired, we were unable due to con grant considerations, COVID, not able to meet our granting requirements, we elected to close the office, and that's when we moved under the umbrella of Pikes Peak Area Council of Governments. There is a discussion underway currently uh, with a group of injury prevention and nonprofit organizations to reinstitute the Highway Traffic Safety Challenge. Uh, that is something we'd like to get to this year. Much will depend upon those other organizations, their bandwidth, their ability to move forward with it. We are highly cognizant of the need to continue some kind of education within that arena. And uh, one of the jobs that we have as Drive Smart is to identify, and there is a project underway uh, led by the COG right now, uh, to do some research and take a look at nonprofit entities throughout the region that are doing a variety of traffic safety and injury prevention programs. We will be looking at that group to determine who within that 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 set, that, that research group, is targeting teens and is working to better the education of teen drivers. We absolutely agree with you. It is something that we have been organizing around and we're going to be able to move forward that with that now. Uh, we have some research behind us when that's completed. Our mission will be to take those organizations, try to see if we can combine them into a unified effort uh, for the region and invite the high schools in to participate. Good question. Thank you. I appreciate that. It is a key component and interest of DriveSmart. Very good. Thank you. Would you be interested? Okay. So I think uh, we have a person that's willing to volunteer for the third position, Glant Havenar. Thank you so much. Is there anybody else that's interested? Uh, yes. I, Roland was interested. So can we put out Roland as an alternate, please? Uh, it, absolutely. And we can expand, we can notify the full board or subset of the boards, wh whoever is interested in uh, receiving notices of the meeting, because they're fairly informal. I think when it comes to an actual vote, it's going to have to be limited, obviously, to those three board members that are representative of the PPACG board. But yeah, we would like to have a larger um, conversation with whoever's interested, for sure. And if it's really important to them, I'll go to the alternate. I just know for the last six months, Andy and I have been talk about, talking about incorporating that <laughs> And the thing is, is to incorporate teenage safety into it, we have to make it cool. If it's not cool, and if it's not on Snapchat or TikTok, they don't care. I know that, um, so I appreciate actually you're, you're refreshing my memory about that as well, because when we did the workshop, he did express an interest, if I recall right, is that correct? Yeah, reminded us of that this morning, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, but, but having said that, I don't, think he would object to be in an alternate does anybody is he's not here to speak for himself so um but uh uh, uh well <laughs> with a jeep oh my goodness <laughs> so i'd like to make a motion uh please do so for the three primary members would be sharon thompson dick elsner glant havanar and alternate um Roland Gardine. All right. Is there a second for that slate? Second, Commissioner Williams. All right. Thank you very much. Any other comments or questions on this particular item then before we vote? All right. Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 And are there any opposed? All right. Thank you very much. Um, we th now have uh, all of these positions filled by vote, which is awesome. Let's move on to item 2C, which is our Colorado Sunshine Law Compliance for 2023. 
And in the packet, it does designate uh, an online and physical locations. I think perhaps many of you have reviewed that, but it is in the packet page eight. And is there any are there any questions or discussion about um, these locations before I entertain a motion? All right, hearing none, I'll uh, entertain a motion for those I for those areas. Well, so I, approve, uh, I recommend we approve the items as presented. Uh, Commissioner Williams, second. That's been moved and seconded. And uh, since we did not have any conversation, any uh, uh, anyone interested in comments or questions previously, let's just go ahead and proceed direct to vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 And are there any opposed? All right, uh, there are none opposed, so that passes as well. And of course, everyone knows that's a statutory requirement. So now we've uh, met that obligation. Seeing no further business, and as my last act as chair, this meeting is adjourned. I oh. need to get in there before you adjourn. Oh, okay. I this would, meeting is not adjourned. I would just like to say a huge thank you to Commissioner Vanderworth for running, uh, being the board chairman the last two years at PPACG and moving, keeping us moving along and moving forward and all the hard work you've, you've put into that. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And maybe uh, uh, since you've made the offer to make a few comments, a few comments for me, uh, I, I just want to express my appreciation to the members of this board for continuing to work together in a collaborative environment so that we can continue to advance the mission of PPACG and serve the citizens of our three counties. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like you've all done a great job in, in, in uh, some difficult circumstances that we've had over the last two years. So just thank you uh, very much for that. It's also been an honor for me to serve as chair. Uh, and um, I'll just also express my appreciation to Andy and the staff, the team. Oh, my gosh, you guys just are continuing to do a great job. And I know you're going to continue to do that going forward. So thank you for that as well. well and I'd like to reciprocate as we're giving hugs all the way around. Th thank you <laughs> on behalf of the staff. We've accomplished a lot of really, really good things the past two two years, started some really good practices with our meetings in other counties. So I just I really appreciate your your leadership and your support of the organization. We've gotten a, a lot of really good stuff done. So thank you. Thank you very much. And I know at least one of those was uh, my interest in at least holding one meeting in Teller and one meeting in Park. And uh, uh, I thought that those went over really, really well. Uh, we got great response from uh, uh, people that live in those uh, in those counties, and I thought it was pretty cool to see nonprofits. Uh, perhaps you had set that up, but you had nonprofits come to the meetings and talk to us, and uh, that was really uh, really awesome. And I do recommend for the new chair that uh, we continue that practice once a year. Seems pretty reasonable to me uh, to do that. So again, thank you very much for the opportunity to serve. Uh, as you all know, I've also stepped down uh, yesterday as a chair of the Board of County Commissioners, but this is one of those things that we do is we uh, uh, we step into these roles, we step out of these roles. That's all about who we are. That's citizens serving in uh, capacities uh, that uh, in different and various ways. And I got to tell you, and it's it's something that I've been reflecting on as we've seen all these people sworn in yesterday. This is who we are. Uh, this is us ourselves ruling ourselves, and it is a beautiful thing, and I just love seeing it. So thank you again for the opportunity to serve. And uh, okay, any other comments before I adjourn? All right, yes, please, a five-minute break, and this meeting is now adjourned. Thank you very much.